Hello there, YouTube. It is I, Uncle John, back in the flesh, yet again. Today we are going to be talking about none other than the 2014 controversial film flick called The Interview. Yeah, this should be fun. The people who star in it are James Franco as Dave Skylark, Seth Rogen as Aaron Rappaport, and... I almost had the name. <laughs> Randall Park as Kim Jong Un. Why was the film very controversial, you ask? Because apparently North Korea did not like the way that the United States of America was portraying North Koreans to be in a film. They didn't want us to film. They didn't want it to be released. You know, the whole nine yards, pretty much. What they kept saying was that if we would dare to release such film, then they would release Merciless, one of retaliation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, believe it or not, North Korea, we don't believe in anything of what you tell us. And kind of like with the citizens as well, we don't really buy into what our government tells us either. Although, they think we do. Unlike most people that are biased about the film, they think the interview was just a waste of time. Although the interview was brought out into independent theaters, names that I really don't know at all, not the big chain film theaters, they were released, I do believe, in 300 independent theaters, just really in the US. Now, the film also released on VOD, Video On Demand. If you ask me myself, I actually did see the interview, and I really enjoyed it. What was so controversial about it was not just the topic itself of how we portrayed North Korea to be, but pretty much the ending of the film. Why was the ending of the film so controversial? I'll tell you why. Because during the, one of the scenes you see pretty much Kim Jong-un was in this helicopter firing the firepower pretty much at a tank. They slow motion in slow motion flung out a missile and it slowly blew not only the helicopter up, but Kim Jong-un well should I say the the, the character. And what happened after that, they went back to the U.S., they celebrated because North Korea was into a new democracy. Kind of like a U.S. version of freedom, if you will. People would down the movie because it, they said, oh, there wasn't a lot of controversial things that was going on in the film itself. Now, honestly, I thought it was pretty controversial enough. When the film was released on Blu-ray, which I do believe was February 17th, I was pretty excited myself that it came out. Why was the film released and then two months later, or not even two months later, almost two months later, it was released on Blu-ray? Because again, unlike Sony, I mean Columbia Pictures, they went on ahead and released the film anyway. Now, from what I have been told, some kind of activist sent, what was it, 300 balloon with, you know, copies of the DVD over to North Korea. I read about that online. I don't know who did it. Oh, that is a lot of light. I don't know who did it, but, you know, eh. kudos, I guess. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time that we have for now. Actually, that all that I that oi that I have for now. But until then, I will see you all in the next video. Until then, I will see you all later on. Take care, everyone. Oh, and before I forget, go check out that video of Uncle John plays right now. So until then, again, I will see you all later on. Take care. Everyone.